uh, where incidents have been taking place, uh, in some cases what time of day, and the frequency with which they're occurring. And so we, we've been taking that information and uh, applying uh, volunteer resources to uh, crime prevention efforts uh, around uh, San Fermato. And we've had excellent results so far. Score one for the police as they use a new weapon to fight crime on the streets of Victoria. A pilot project using computer software allows police to stay one step ahead of the bad guys. And that's meant a huge reduction in vehicle break-ins and stolen cars from downtown parking lots. Just by a couple of clicks of the mouse button, I can go in here. If you see, I've got a date range with the most, the most recent uh, four days of information. And there's my auto crime types that we, we deal with primarily. We have theft from vehicles, theft of vehicles, and recovered stolen vehicles. So if I don't do anything and I just click this, it tells me that I, over the last four days, I've had 52 reports of auto crime. I can then go in and map that and the system will produce a, a map for me. We can determine uh, uh, by looking at the map where these uh, theft from auto incidents are taking place. Uh, and we can take a look at those locations where it's happening most often, and we can target our efforts uh, most effectively there. The beauty of the system is it gives information on crime trends to a larger number of police officers than ever before. Now, police can spot trends in everything from traffic accidents to house break-ins. Basically, it's, it's, it's a lot faster. You're not required to have somebody physically or manually place pins on a, on a map uh, referring to a text-based report or a hard copy report. The, that process is eliminated and done very quickly with, with a few clicks of the mouse button. We were able to, through the mapping program, determine that we had 70%, 70% reduction in theft from auto in those three locations compared to the three previous 20-day periods at the same location. You can't beat that. That's, I think, real service to the community and fewer victims out there. So everybody's a winner. In Victoria, Jim's even shot TV. Digital Informant. The simple, useful, cost-effective law enforcement tool.